it has now been seven months since our last Red Dead Online update and ever since 2022 has started, fans have not been happy and have even started their own protest which is called hashtag save Red Dead Online. This hashtag as well as Red Dead Online or Red Dead Redemption 2 has been trending on Twitter ever since and with all of this traction, still Rockstar have said nothing. So in this video, we are going to be going over some actions that Rockstar could take which would actually save Red Dead Online. Before we do get into the video though, I want to let you know about a project that I've been working on. It's no secret that I've created a lot of gaming channels and because I've created so many, I know how to get them partnered in about one to two months without needing to promote them on other social media accounts. And I always get asked, how do I do it? That's why I've created an in-depth class on Skillshare. It goes through the basics of creating a new YouTube channel, but it quickly scales up into doing keyword research, planning videos, recording, editing, creating thumbnails, and eventually getting monetized, where you can actually start running your YouTube channel like a business by outsourcing the work. If you're interested in having your own gaming channel, then there is a link in the description down below, as well as you can find it as the pinned comment, and that will give you a free month of Skillshare where you can use that time to watch through my class, and at the end of it, you will understand everything that you need to know. So links to everything can be found in the description down below. Getting back into the video, the hashtag save Red Dead Online has been trending for a long time and has led to loads of articles coming out and even big creators talking about the problem. But still, Rockstar have done nothing about this. There's been no new major updates. We haven't even got the weekly updates back. And on top of that, they still haven't even acknowledged anything. We're now in a position where we're getting month long bonuses and discounts, whereas before we was getting them on a weekly basis, but they're carrying on as normal. There's nothing that's been said within a newswise, which even acknowledges people's frustrations. And what's crazy is that a lot of this could very easily be settled with a few actions that Rockstar need to take. The first thing that fans are asking for is communication. There was actually a point within the past where Rockstar was amazing at this. They would communicate with fans and not do what they do currently, which is just post the news wire as well as putting a few retweets in from certain individuals. It really wouldn't have been too hard for the last news wire that we got where it talked about the news wire for February and how we have a month long worth of bonuses and discounts again. They could have just included a paragraph which said, we understand that players are frustrated with the current rate in which updates are being pushed to Red Dead Online. We've heard your thoughts, we've seen your frustration around Save Red Dead Online, and we're trying our best. In the future, we look to provide you with X, Y, and Z as content, or they could even take it on the complete other side of things, where they tell us the truth of, hey, we're not able to produce any updates over the next couple of months. This is what we're providing for you so that you can still go through the game, but as soon as we get back on our feet, we will be striving to push out more regular updates. If something was said about the future, then a lot of fans will be put to rest. And it doesn't need to be anything too crazy. It could be a paragraph which is included within the Red Dead Online newswires, or it could be as simple as just a tweet. A lot of frustration that comes from fans is simply not knowing. Red Dead Online was supposed to be an ever evolving world with regular updates and so far we haven't had anything within 2022 and it doesn't look like we're going to get anything soon. Not to mention that the Steam DB has also had no commits to it. There's been nothing that's been pushed to it for months. And with all of this in mind, it just leads to fans asking more and more questions. And if some of those questions were answered, they probably wouldn't join the hashtag save Red Dead Online. Linking into this, but this also takes us to point number two, is actually including a roadmap. This is another thing that is highly requested for fans with Red Dead Online, and they've wanted it for years. If fans knew exactly what type of updates were coming and when, it can just put their mind at ease. We'll no longer have situations where fans are sitting there and waiting for something to happen every single Tuesday, which is when we used to get our weekly updates for Rockstar to announce that next week or the following week, we will be able to get a new update because this is what we're used to. It just leads a lot of fans to always hoping and praying that every single Tuesday, Rockstar will go and say something and they never really do. This will carry on for months and months and months as slowly frustration starts to build. But if there was a roadmap where we can see in quarter two of 2022, Rockstar aimed to do this to Red Dead Online, 
players would be reassured that Rockstar are actually working on the game because as things currently stand, we don't have a clue. Within that roadmap, and this takes us to point number three, is that it needs to include updates. There are certain types of updates that fans have been asking for ever since the release back in 2018. And even though it's pretty much impossible and extremely unrealistic for players to expect all of those major updates to release within 2022, it would be nice if we got hints or be told about that they're working on it or one of those updates is going to be released this year. Now the updates that most players would like to see within the game are the likes of Heist, the Rockstar Editor or the Rockstar Creator. The biggest fantasy within Red Dead Online is to run your own heist and even though some people have unrealistic expectations with this all being done within free roam, that's never going to happen but it would still be nice if we got some heist in a similar sort of style to what we have with GTA Online except within the Red Dead Online universe. With updates such as the Rockstar Editor and Rockstar Creator, it allows players to be more creative. They can record their own gameplay, cut it into different pieces so that they can upload their own cinematics. These can then be YouTube videos, it could be TikToks, it could be shorts, it could be pretty much anything. And this also does bring into the fact that if they're recording something interesting and is actually good, when they do upload it, it also becomes free earned media for Red Dead Online where hopefully even more players will be able to go and see that and think, hey, I actually want to play this game. It becomes a win-win situation, very similar to the Rockstar Creator, which will allow players to create their own types of missions, their own types of races and their own types of showdown series. I was begging for this to be added to the game right at the beginning because it will allow players to do what they want to do. They can create what they want, put it to the public, and then we can download those races, those missions, those showdown series, and we can play through them. This will also save a lot of time on Rockstar's side of things because they no longer need to produce showdown series or they don't need to do as many. Last year, just before we did get the Blood Money update, Rockstar did release new types of races. There were eight new races added to Red Dead and they didn't go down too well. Most people don't go through races, so this was a waste of time. But for those that were interested in races, they could go to the Rockstar Creator, they can download what types of races they want to play through, which was created by other players, and they can go through them. By providing players with the tools to create their own types of missions, their own races, their own showdown series will always be better than having to create them in-house. But the first needs to be the tools which are actually provided to the community and there's been coming up to four years where players have been begging for this. The next point which would save Red Dead Online is adding more types of items to buy. We used to get weekly updates where there were discounts on different items but it got very repetitive and now even when it's only happening once every month it's still very repetitive. There's a lot of items there where there's discounts on and there's already been several discounts on them already before and most players have already been able to buy into them. This is why we need to have new types of items to buy into the game whether it be properties, new vehicles, new horses, pretty much anything anything other than what we currently have within the game and of course properties new vehicles and new horses that's on that higher end of things that's where it does take quite a bit of work but there is a way in which you can lower the workload because we don't want to stress out every rockstar employee to deliver new content which satisfies fans you could just take already existing content within the game re-release it as more exclusive by changing colors or having a different type of aesthetic there's a huge part of this community which love customizing their weapons so you don't need to release a new weapon although it would be nice to get one you could release different types of variants for the weapons that are already within the game this isn't anything new for the 3d model you don't need any new animations there's no scripting involved apart from the script which allows you to apply different types of variants but that is already within the game it's just duplicated and assigned to a different texture there is loads of different ways in which you can add new types of items to buy whether it be something big such as properties, new vehicles, new horses, new types of weapon, anything new which isn't currently within the game or you can go and take already existing assets that are already part of the game and you can go and change their looks. You can go and change the different types of textures that belong to them and allow players to actually buy into them. And the last thing for this video which would really save Red Dead Online or at least stop the hashtags because this doesn't save it. Just tell players that there is no new future updates. Now for me, this one really doesn't make any sense because Red Dead Online is still profitable. It's still earning a lot of money and it has been no reports of staff moving to other projects. And when you make a big move like that, 
even though they'll try to keep it hush hush it's going to make noise so as things currently stand i don't believe that this is happening but let's just say for this example that this is happening that rockstar intends to stop pushing content to red dead online they're actually moving stuff off of red dead to actually work on other projects whether it be gta 6 or gta online or maybe a completely new title if this was to happen then there is no need for a roadmap there is no need for updates and there is no need for items to buy but there is a need for communication it would be extremely scummy if you was to say release a red dead online standalone promise an ever evolving world then go and change the gold payouts from daily challenges so it's harder to earn gold and you may need to actually go and buy gold so that you can start this game and then release one update and then never again this would be a massive cash grab but it still involves at some point if there's never going to be an update again that will decline the amount of money that you're able to make from this game will decline so at some point there does need to be a talk of where you say hey we're not looking to release any more updates and even though this example doesn't save red dead online it saves the little bit of reputation that rockstar still has especially with everything that's happened over the last two years if you have made it all the way to the end of this video and you are still playing red dead but you're wondering whether or not you should actually spend even more time because you don't know what the future holds my recommendations are quite simple if you currently enjoy the game whether that be story or online carry on playing that's exactly what I'm doing. If you enjoy any type of game in its current state, then there is no need to have future content. Of course, it helps, but as things currently stand, you're enjoying the game as it currently is, so carry on enjoying yourself. If you're in a position where you enjoy the game, but you've played through the content a number of times, it's just extremely repetitive and you're looking to the future for future updates, or you've now reached that point in which you no longer enjoy the game and you just want Rockstar to release an update such as Heist which will make it more enjoyable, then my recommendation is to stop. I know loads of people say that this game has so much potential and yes, you're right, but also so does every other game in the world. Every other game has potential, but it does come down to whether or not the team behind that game can actually reach that potential. And if you're not enjoying the content that's already been pushed to the game, it's unlikely that you're going to enjoy anything else within the future. As well as if you are at the point in which you've played for it many times before, you've got nothing else to do, you could just take a break. If an update does release at some point in the future, then that's the point in which you come back. And if you enjoy it, that's where we go through the cycle again of you actually playing through it up until you don't. But anyway, guys, these are the simple ways in which Rockstar could save Red Dead Online. If you do have any other ideas on which Rockstar could do, which would actually make you happy, then make sure you leave that in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going to see ya.